Good afternoon from beautiful Herman. Come to another one of my fave spots that I haven't been able to get to because of the deep snow. But I made it today. Broke a couple branches to try to get better a better view. But I don't have my glasses to see if I'm having a blurred view or not. Ooh, look at them coming already. Awesome, eh? So good to be back here. I just came across a bridge and now they're coming across the bridge right before, right before you get to Herman. Doe's Creek. I got a feeling this is blurring. Last cars are going past the Duluth and South Shore boarding house, railroad boarding house. And then across the road from it is the pool hall, which had many, did many things, had families grow up there, it was a pool hall. Um, I think it was a bar for a while. A lot of different things in a little tiny building. And where I'm standing, I'm probably standing on a sawdust pile. This was an old sawmill here. And these high areas have to be sawdust because if you look at the old pictures of Herman this was all level back when it was a sawmill there's a house on the property I don't think anybody comes to it Standing in the midst of a bunch of branches that were cut two years ago. Why do I always have to stand in the worst places to take movies, video? 
I just took boring ones, though. I'd just be standing on a road next to the tracks and watching a train go by. I kind of like the way I do it better. It's adventuresome. I see a lot of neat stuff. Sorry, my tripod just... No, I don't have those spikes in them like some of you think have. Mine is just a soft rubber. I would love to be up there and summit at the rock cut. Maybe that will be my... If it's not too muddy to drive there, but if I get stuck in the mud, because that's three miles of kind of dicey road, um, I sure wouldn't want to get stuck. I love watching the train go around that curve. Not sure how much I'm getting because I'm. Let's see here. Well, they're getting out of here nice and early. Well, I guess I'm going to close this down. I'm going to go down to the tracks and then take a little walk to the first bridge. I'll be right back. Okay, I was just standing up there on the hillside, sawdust side, taking the video of the train going by. Now we'll just take a short walk to the first bridge. And I don't do a great job with this camera walking and having to watch my way on the ballast and the ties and some snow. I just like to go up there and see the marsh. Always thinking I'm going to see a moose in there. I don't know if anybody ever has. I think I'm holding this kind of crooked. Probably sawdust piles. If I can go over here easier. They laid this ballast down last fall. It's hard walking on it. I know I'm not holding this straight, so bear with me or just turn it off. <laughs> it's easy to just click it off. Oh, <sighs> what a day. What a good, good, good day. Lots of good video. Feel the sun warming things up. It was like in the 20s earlier. This bridge caught on fire a couple years ago. Nobody knows how. How would a bridge start on fire if somebody didn't start it? I wonder. Yeah, I'd love to have a piece of property up here.
if you could tell that. No, you can't tell. You can see the burned timbers. God, there's some big things here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe there, eh? Anyhow, they got it fixed in no time like they do. Train has to move. Oh, wait, here's some burnt sections right here. Wow, the size of those timbers under there, those pilings. I have to go down there when it melts. You just can't see good like this. But you can see the burnt. Doe's Creek winding its way here. I like to sit right over there on the bank over there and take pictures too, video. It's a cool spot. Maybe this year I'll find my sweatshirt. <laughs> I took off one day because I was so hot. And I forgot it. Oh. <sighs> Then when I went back to look for it a couple days later, it was gone. Probably some deer has it. Kept warm this winter with it. Trains in Summit. Can you hear it? Deer tracks. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I said I wasn't going to go very far. Yep. Another one. Am I covering it up? So the Herman Road that we came up is just over to the right on the other side of that hill. And then as the tracks and the road goes down the hill, they kind of get wider and wider apart. I might as well go to this curve up here. Like I say, if you don't want to watch this, just turn it off. It just feels so good to be out. They used to have excursion rides here from... I think some came from Big Bay or... Either Big Bay or Marquette. Went up to the Copper Country. I think Thursday I'm going to come here early in the morning and come down to the third bridge where the rock cut is 
and get them and then I'll go up to the Rock Cut and Summit for their return trip. That's my plan. Oh, somebody's walked down here. There's tracks. Yeah, this is a little crusty to walk in. I think I'm gonna stop. And come back Thursday. Hopefully a lot of this will be gone. Anyhow, thanks for taking this journey with me. And if you don't like any of it, just turn me off. Anyhow, thanks to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I hope you like what I do. I know it's not the usual, but it's what I like to do. So enjoy. Thanks. See you Thursday.